Okay, so it's been a while since I've made any videos. Um, I've had a lot going on over the last uh, 12 months, really, work-wise and home-wise. So it's uh, it's just getting around to doing it. But I've still been tinkering. I've still been doing things. Um, and one of them is still, like I've been on the other videos, uh, playing with solar power. So I want to do a couple of videos just showing a few of the simple installations you can do using solar inverters and batteries um, and one of them being on uh, one of our spare sheds here um, as you can see this is the the front part of the shed and I'm just powering um, some lighting inside using solar power this is a 20 watt solar panel it was originally one from eBay um, I paid quite a good price for it and it's it's only a small bit of power but it's enough for the power that we use inside the shed it's mainly just for lighting there's nothing really inside here that uses a lot of power uh, we we're not that close to a main supply to the house to, to have to run the cable all the way down here it's not all that practicable so we decided to run some solar now we did think about just running 12 volt bulbs LEDs and such like inside of the um, of the battery um, which is obviously quite low efficient but we decided that it would be useful to have a 240 volt supply for things like battery chargers if you want to plug in any battery chargers or any um, sort of light powered equipment so we decided let's go with the full hog do 240 volt inside and then uh, we've got that option just to make it a bit more simple um, so there we go so this is the, the front panel um, it gets the sun most of the day um, it gives us probably about an, on average about an amp, I think, uh, on a good day, uh, one amp hour. So <clears throat> it's sufficient for what we use. So let's take a look inside and I'll show you the, uh, the main gubbins, the operations of the job. Okay, so this is the inside. Um, I'll be honest, it's not a very neat job. I'm not particularly proud of this job, but it was kind of thrown together in a bit of a rush. Um, and I've never got around to tidying it up. It works really well, um, and I've never had to spend any time on it. So we'll have a look at the um, at the main entry then. So for the solar power, uh, which comes in, you can see, um, I'm going to do this without messing the camera up too much. That's the main input there. That's the cable coming in uh, from the solar power, or from the panel. And it goes up straight into this charge controller. Now this charger controller here, I'm going to just move those cables out of the way. This charger control here is one that I've kind of made together uh, or I've kind of put together using a couple of different components. The actual charger itself was um, a cheap 30 amp, no, 5 amp charger uh, from Maplin's Electronics. It was just a very basic little black box with two LEDs on showing that it's charging and showing the state of the the power. Uh, I wanted to be able to see how much power I'm drawing in um, and I wanted to also be able to uh, see that visually and to be able to connect cables quite easily using the banana style connector plugs with it being low voltage and low current it's obviously okay to use banana plugs and such like so I decided to go for this I opened it up ripped it down built it up and put it into this black box here uh, which clearly shows on the right hand side it's full so as it's full there's no amps being uh, being taken into the system which is why it's showing a zero um, it's full because the green LEDs illuminated and uh, and that's working well for me at the moment from that charger control it then using one of the black cables goes all the way down to here there we go which is basically um, it's not actually a marine battery, which is what it should be. It's just a car battery. Um, again, it was supposed to be upgraded to a proper marine battery because car batteries aren't ideal for this sort of application, really. But it, because it works, and it works so well, um, and it's a spare battery anyway, it's just never um, it's just never been replaced. So that's still an ordinary small car battery. That car battery then, you can see the crocodile clips, the ones on the show, that goes straight up back up again to that inverter now that's quite an old inverter I've had this for many years and 
the top was taken off I, I forget for what reason it was, it was stripped down to its bare components a while ago um, so in, again in a hurry I just threw it up there um, quickly to get it up and running so it's got no lid on so it's not the safest a bit dangerous but I don't touch it often so it's not, not an issue um, so that inverter will come into light once you flick that switch there straight from that inverter you can see the output the little terminals there no that's that's the light side that's the input to the inverter the output to the inverter is that side there those connector blocks that used to be the socket built onto the inverter from there it goes straight to this strip socket here so from here um, as you can see the only thing I've got plugged in at the moment is um, a little charger for some batteries um, but all those power up um, and normally I, what I've just unplugged now which you can see those things there they power just some lights I've got up on the ceiling here there's the other ones and the spot ones there so that's what they do so they power all those lights for me and they do a really good job so this is a very useful application um, I don't know how much it cost for all the cables and to have all the electrics put in here properly it's not cheap um, but this was uh, obviously the far by far the cheapest way of uh, putting power in here because of uh, obviously I've got most of the components anyway so it didn't cost that much at all and just a little bit of knowledge and a bit of time to put together absolutely ideal it's never it's never really run out of power for me I've um, I've been out here in the wintry months where you don't get much of a charge yet you do have the lights on for a little bit longer but uh, this isn't the main workshop anyway so it's not um, it's not in heavy use so it's just a great great way to use solar power so there's another way, uh, another job that I've done fairly recently, which is to install some solar power uh, lights into some uh, stables for horses. Uh, friends of ours have got some stables and they wanted that doing. So uh, watch out for the next video and, uh, and you'll see that installation. So thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.